the doctor said you are complete paraplegica. So you don't get to use your legs again. Tell me, go for beast at you. It's okay. Susanna was in the barn, giving the horses some straw, when a bale fell from the top of the pile, crushing her. They called an ambulance and I got to the hospital and they told me, your bag is broken. Because of this accident, Susanne had to learn how to ride again. But with the help of Helmer, her husband and coach, they managed to do it. She, couldn't, she can't feel her back. And uh, everything we have to change, everything. So, but of course the years she, she have ridden before the accident help her now. Susanna trains every day. With a physical disability, some adaptions must be made. Her feet are fixed to the stirrups and she guides the horse with two whips. But the relationship with the horse still remains crucial. And the horse can feel everything, every move I make. And sometimes I make the wrong move and he has to say, okay, I know that doesn't mean anything. So it takes some, some months to, to make the horse understand. All right, so if everything goes to plan, these two will be off to Tokyo soon. The Paralympics require a lot of training, but the mental part is almost as important. During her rehabilitation, despite a bad diagnosis, she kept fighting and beat the odds. After a month, I could swing my leg when I sit on a bench. So I was at the training for six months and when I came home I could ride a bike and I could walk with my helping my crutches and my things on my legs and I started riding again. These small steps have led her to the top. In 2016 she competed at the Rio Paralympic Games. And I have the biggest and heaviest medal from the Paralympics in Rio, 2016, a silver medal. And this medal is a bit more special than the other medals because there is also, there is a, there's written here for people who cannot see, and also it has a sound. So this is the sound of silver. But there is one medal that holds a special place in her heart. Actually this one, the, the day I won the gold was also a very emotional day for me. Uh, I lost my father to cancer when I was 20. And in April 2017, my mother suddenly got sick and they found out that she also had cancer. Mm -hmm. And it has spread so much that she died in July 2017. And actually a month after her death, I won this gold. So I'm sure that it was for her I write the gold medal and she looked at me from the, from the heaven. Despite the tragedies, Susanna kept a positive mindset. Instead of getting sad and see all the things you cannot do, you have to see all the things you can do. Mm.